Hello, I hope everybody's doing well. I know there was a few people had asked me to do a video or a live stream concerning baby Elena out of Kentucky. Her mother is the 21-year-old Erica Lawson, who on Friday the 28th of July, she finally broke down what prompted her to do it. I do not know. It should have happened long before that. It should it, the, the child should have never needed to go to the hospital but on the 28th of july she took the baby to the hospital in kentucky where the baby was transported then to knoxville to children's hospital she was brain dead at the time she survived until sunday night july the 30th when she passed away and went for the people who do not believe in god do not believe in jesus to each his own i am a believer and i choose to believe that that baby lays in the arms of our Savior. She was taken out of this world, possibly, so she did not have to suffer any longer. This is a hard case, guys. If you go and, and read about it and listen to the news briefings, and I do not understand how anyone, but especially a mother of an infant, of a child of any age, could allow anyone to harm their child. I'm not going to be saying much more than just for this intro. Just listen to the news briefings and at the vigil and hear what the these people have to say the dad speaks out there's not been much more updates since yesterday i believe is when i got all this information this is if this is hard guys this is really hard to even think that this kind of monstrosity that this horror that anything like this could happen to a child and every time i think of this baby i keep thinking about i believe it was it's baby amora and what her mother and stepfather done to her so i will get off here i will let you you all listen to these news briefings and I may do another video. I'm not sure. Just listen up. We gotta stay strong with everybody else until we get to our justice. Justice for Elena, that's it. Good justice for my daughter. Thank you so much. At midday, a woman in Middlesbrough, Kentucky, has been arrested in connection to the death of a 17-month-old. Eric Lawson is now facing several charges, including manslaughter and criminal abuse. The child was taken to the Middlesbrough Hospital with severe injuries and evidence of sexual assault. We're told the toddler was then flown to Children's Hospital here in Knoxville and was pronounced brain dead. According to our media partner, WRIL, she passed away on Sunday evening. That investigation remains underway at this time. Charges of manslaughter and abuse after the death of her 17-month-old daughter. Now, this case is out of Middlesbrough, Kentucky. Because of the extent of the injuries to the toddler, she was flown for treatment to East Tennessee Children's Hospital here in Knoxville. Tennis reporter Mary Klingler joins us with more from investigators about how this child died. Mary? Yeah, John Robin, this toddler's violent death has shaken the Middlesbrough community, and now the mother is being held at Bell County Detention Center for her part in this tragedy. If somebody would be, could be that sick out there, let this go on. That bad. Middlesbrough Police Chief Petey Gilbert says this investigation is leading to shocking discoveries. I have seen some kids like that, but not, not at this age. 21 year old Erica Lawson is being held at Bell County Detention Center and charged with manslaughter, failure to report child abuse, criminal abuse, and wanton endangerment. In my time with the Commonwealth, this is one of the most severe cases of abuse, specifically because that baby is 17 months old at that time. Police say the child's injuries were a result of abuse, including sexual assault, and expect the mother to face more severe charges. We'll provide that we're exploring every avenue uh, and, and lead and clue that we can uh, to apprehend the individual that's responsible. <clears throat> Police say the child's father has not been charged with a crime at this time. At this time, mother and father were not together. The father is not a suspect at this time but that could always change. Attorney Lisa Fugate says it's up to the community to prevent tragedies like this from happening in the future. What's disheartening is the public's response. If a child is abused, report it. Don't withhold it, don't go on, report it. Call someone, do something. Um, because this could very well be a different outcome 
had that been the case. Now the community is planning a candlelit vigil tomorrow evening at City Hall. It's expected to begin at 7 and anyone is welcome to join in and showing their support to get justice for that little girl. This for a 17 month old child who authorities say died after she was sexually assaulted and abused. Police arrested Erica Lee Lawson Sunday. Authorities say she brought her daughter to the hospital Friday with severe injuries. The child died Sunday night. Now Lawson is charged with second degree manslaughter as the investigation into another suspect continues. 10 News reporter Mary Klingler is in Middlesbrough tonight where the community is coming together to honor the life of that little girl. Yeah, in just a couple of hours, the community plans to join right here at Middlesbrough City Hall with candles and signs held high asking for justice for little Alina. We all are just sad but, and um, we hope that this doesn't happen again. We're all coming together to do this um, candle lighting because uh, we love the little girl. The investigation into 17-month-old Alina Hembry's death continues. Her mother, 21-year-old Erica Lawson, has been arrested for second-degree manslaughter. But police say, given the evidence, a male suspect was also involved. This is not something that we take lightly. It's not something that I see every day. And because of the severity um, of the case itself, um, we, we, we are working as hard as we can to apprehend the individual that, that's caused the incident to the child. Police are still working to understand what happened to the child and say Lawson has changed her story multiple times. She has been transported to Clay County Detention Center. We all have scenarios go through our head, but um, I like to just go off facts and I just hope that they find out what's going on and that, you know, it doesn't happen to someone else. Tiffany Brummett and Brooklyn Sizemore say they both know Erica. Um, yeah, me and Erica was really good friends, actually. Um, I just, there has to be more to it. It drives me crazy thinking about it because she was not like that before. And so it's just, just insane. Now this investigation is still ongoing, but at this time, police say they are investigating several people of interest. For now, I'll toss back over to you in the studio. It includes a memorial to a 17 month old child. Investigators in Middlesbrough, Kentucky, say she died after suffering severe abuse. Her mother is in custody, facing a charge tied to the death of little Elena. Neighbors are calling for justice, and for the first time, the little girl's father is speaking publicly. Tenure reporter Maria Guzman joins us with his reaction. Maria. John, this is a case that has shaken an entire community, and we see that from tonight's memorial, and in just less than 24 hours since this case became public, loved ones gathered outside of City Hall to remember baby Elena. On Friday, Elena was taken to the hospital. She had been sexually assaulted and severely injured, and two days later, she died from her injuries at the hospital. Tonight, we hear from the girl's dad for the first time. She was my, she was my world. She was my first, my only. I hate how I have to do this, and, but this type of thing can happen. As you can see, it's touched everybody. We're the only voice she's got as a community, not just as me, just as a community. Now, the child's mother is 21-year-old Erica Lawson. Now, she remains in custody tonight. Right now, she faces four different charges from manslaughter to abuse, and the city's mayor speaking tonight to the family. I cannot imagine the pain you're going through. So you're going through something no, no father's ever. Man, you're going through something no father should ever have to go through. No parents should ever have to go through the death of a child. Officials say the girl's uncle did report signs of abuse weeks ago, but police say they couldn't find the child. Now, the chief of police did admit there was prior abuse reported to them. As for where this case will go next, right now the mother is in custody, but police say more people could be charged. Now, now with the, given, the evidence they have, police say a male suspect was also involved. Now, another community event is set for Saturday night outside of City Hall at 9. John. We'll continue to follow this. Thank you, Maria. No father has ever. Man, you're going through something no father should ever have to go through. No parents should ever have to go through the death of a child. Man, I'm sorry. 
Now, it, it breaks my heart. And, and I'm going to keep it short, but man, I, I promise you, you're in good hands. And I know how good our department is. And, and we will continue to do it. You know, this is this is just an unforeseeable thing with you. And I, I hate this is what we're gathered here today. It is so good to see all of our community out here gathered to support this young man and this family. Just thank you all for being here. They're going to have a, a event here, so if you would, come in. Nobody wants to have to bury their child. Nobody wants to have to bury their child. Everybody that had, knew about it had partied it. The Good judge behavior. How many people showed up? It's got to be a blessing to the family that the community has their back and supports them. Um, you know, I didn't really have any kind of message or anything to portray. Just the Lord moved upon my heart Monday morning, and you know that we needed to come together as a community to console and to lift up and encourage the family, and it pretty much send out a challenge to the community that if they see something that ain't right, say something. Let people know that this ain't adding up, this is not going on right. So uh, we just want people to be more alert, uh, people to be more engaged, uh, to know their neighbor, to know what's going on in the house across the street. Be nosy, you know. We don't, we don't want this to ever happen again in this community or anywhere else. The happiest thought the rest of my life, I can't tell you. It's not even hit me yet. I don't think I'm even knowing how to cope with it yet, how to grieve yet. I don't I'm not having five minutes to go through. But 